I have tried recording this video like four or five times, not necessarily because I got heated or anything, right? Because this is a mini rant, but it's just like, it's interesting how they choose to do this. Dokkan, you know, best game in the world. It's just, it is what it is, right? And no game come, no amazing game at that comes without flaws. And Dokkan is no exception to that. But dude, I, let's just take, you may not see the terrible inconsistencies with this category compared to other categories in the game so let's just talk about the very first character on here okay let me just scroll down just to make sure i'm not tripping here yeah okay so we're okay look at this so we have an lr riverian kakunza and rosie right now the name of this character is riverian kakunza and rosie so they are on the super bosses category but Kakunza and Rosie are not on this category. What is the difference between that and this character, Gohan and Piccolo? Why can't this character be on Hybrid Saiyans then? What's the difference? If Kakunza and Rosie is a part of the name and they're not on Super Bosses, then why is this character on the category? And again, more characters on a category is definitely a massive w my argument here or the this thing that interests me i should say it's not that this character like i don't want them to be on the category what i'm saying is i want this guy to be in hybrid saiyans and the mechians if these two because gohan by himself is never going to be on the mechians right and apparently any rosy character will never be on 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 uh, uh super bosses right so then why are the like how does that make sense? Every Goku character with... Like, if they dropped a Goku and Frieza character, that Goku should not only be on Pure Saiyans, um, they should be... Uh, and, and you know, the Frieza will obviously be on Pure Saiyans, and Goku should be on Wicked Bloodline. That's that's what this logic tells us. So, this... The first character is an issue, right? And again, not... I don't want the character out of the category. I want them to fix every other character now, because they've shown us that if, if a character can be part of the name and and still be included in a character when the character themselves isn't in the category i think you know it's just it's very interesting how they chose to to, to do that okay that's just the, that's just the first thing all right now let's talk about the category as a whole super bosses right super bosses so super bosses is literally the boss of drag every boss of dragon ball super right now the weird thing about this category is not every character here is a boss in Dragon Ball Super, right? Especially the same way they've treated every other boss of every other category. So let's just take a look at movie bosses, for example, okay? Movie bosses. When you scroll through this category, you will see literally every single final boss of every single movie, right? Fusion Reborn, the Lord Slug special. You got, you know, I mean, it's crazy. There's no, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. The Broly's, um... Of course, Frieza from the Super version of ROF, everything like that, right? Um, like, there's these are the final bosses of every single movie. And the name suggests it's movie bosses, so that makes sense. I get that. So, my question here is, how is Kaelin Khalifa a super boss? That was just a fight in T.O.P. They weren't a boss. That was nothing but a fight, right? Monaka, I mean, Monaka is Beerus, right? But, like, and again, that, that wasn't even an arc. That was just, like, a, a quick filler fight thing. Copy Vegeta, low-key, I can understand that, right? And it's funny because Copy Vegeta is, like, a meme character. But Rubrian, like, Rubrian, Kagunza, and Rosie, they were never, a, what were they a boss of? T.O.P.? Jiren was the boss of T.O.P., right? So, right here, we have, like, it's just... How do you define super bosses when a lot of the characters on this, he, like, they weren't bosses? Golden Frieza from the Broly movie was not a boss. He was literally there as a punching bag for Broly. He, like, he all he did was bring Broly to Earth. That's it. He, he, he wasn't a boss of anything. Broly was the final boss of that movie. So that makes sense. So if we're going to feature characters in here that were not bosses but simply fights then why don't we do the same thing for movie bosses, right? Because movie bosses has a bunch of, you know, movie bosses, 
But what about this character? Because this character was a part of the movie and it was a fight in the movie. What about these two? Like, why can't boss that guy be part of movie bosses? I it doesn't it it doesn't make sense, right? Why can't Zanya be a part of movie bosses? She was a legitimate fight in the in the Bojack special. Why can't Goku be in movie bosses? It just doesn't make sense, right? Why can't Thouser be in movie bosses? It it doesn't make sense, right? Because this category is showing you fights. Hits as a boss? No, that was a fight. I mean, I guess I guess you can say hit was like the strongest of universe six and so that fight i mean I, I guess you can make that argument but it just doesn't make sense another argument you can say is okay mr baby well look the way i see it is that all of these characters on this category they are the strongest characters of let's say their respective like group right so let's say for example the strongest of universe two will be on here not all of universe two but the strongest of universe two um and and that makes sense right but at the same time it, it doesn't okay it, it doesn't make sense and the reason why i say that is because you have goku black here goku black was not the strongest okay of of future right merge zamasu was the strongest of, of future um you know so it's like how do you really want to play this? Is Kale and Khalifa the strongest of their universe? No, it was Kefla the strongest of their universe, right? Because of the fusion of the two. So, I, I there's I I don't understand why is Topo here? He definitely wasn't the strongest of his universe. So like it it doesn't make sense. And then that's just the movie bosses side of thing. What about GT bosses? GT bosses is a category that I feel like is not only just really like. The potential of this category is really hindered by how they choose to build it. So, GT bosses is, again, every, I guess, quote-unquote, final boss of GT, or I guess, big boss of GT. I get the concept. Um, one, we have a super class character here, so come on now. And then two, let's look at this. Why is it Hellfighter 17? That, that's a fight! If we're going based off of how super bosses is built, why can't these two characters be on the category? Why can't this is literally like the, Super 17 is on the category, but these two can't? That doesn't make any sense. Honestly, bro, Par Par Brothers deserve to be on the category. You can say whatever you want. I do not care. That was an interaction in GT, okay? And these three, um, I will never understand why these three, especially because they were possessed by Baby, one of the biggest definitely not probably not not the biggest fight i mean honestly baby was definitely really pop i don't know i guess omega would be more popular but baby was you know definitely you know number two i guess it, you know whatever you get the point if these two characters or these three were possessed by baby why can't they be on gt bosses it just doesn't make any sense these three when they get their awakening and easy a they could be so helpful to GT bosses, like like literally, one could be supporting GT bosses, one could be supporting Terrifying Conquers, the other one could be supporting Corroded Body and Mind, and then you just have root like three really solid characters that you can add to the GT team, right? It, it would just make a lot make a lot of sense. These two, imagine they were built to work really well with a character like you know Android Seventeen. The only issue is that they can't be on the team with Andrew Timothy if you're trying to run a GT bosses setup. You want to know why? Because they're not on GT bosses, but they're fights. These are all fights, right? So how does how why is bro Manaka here? Is I mean again I guess it's Beerus. Fair, sure, whatever. But I don't I don't get it, man. I don't get the way this category is built. I I just I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense to me. And I think that this character specifically if they're going to choose to put these three on the category but not kakunza and rosie then there is absolutely no reason why no reason because again kakunza is not a super due to their own definition kakunza is not a super boss right rosie is not a super boss guess guess what gohan is not a namekian but going in Piccolo, why aren't they on the Megians? It doesn't make sense. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, still loving the game, of course. Uh, but there's just things like this. And again, it's like, dude, imagine. Imagine they have an update where they just include Gohan on the Megians and Piccolo and Hybrid Saints. You know how amazing that would be?
it would be like insane every category would not every category but a lot of categories would just get so buffed and the great thing is that now you have another option on the mechians because there is no piccolo and gohan on the mechians anyways let me know what you think hopefully you enjoyed consider subscribing if you are new um we are on the road to 61k and only you can make that possible i appreciate you i'll see you in the next one take care and peace